What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Force Strategy Gaming, the continuation of our Diablo 3 beta let's play series working through the female characters. We are now on the female witch doctor. Say hello to Voodoo Mama Juju. I don't know if I can do that all the way. Voodoo Mama Ju... Ah, uh, that's the end of it. Voodoo Mama Ju will do. Yes, that's a reference to The Office. Anyways, let's get going. Alrighty, Voodoo Mama Juju, let's go. <laughs> I love The Office so much. Alright, time for some more Let's Plays. Riveting, exciting. Do the same thing that we've been doing with all the other uh, female characters here, which is going to be exploration to the extreme. We're going to make sure we take a look at everything. And we get some good good quality time with all the spells and abilities as well. That's the biggest thing. People really wanted to make sure that, you know, we were using all the spells that were available to us. So we'll certainly make sure we do that here. Let's take a look at these once we're done uh, taking care of the Risen's right outside of New Tristram. Guys still trying to invade, even after I've, you know, forced them back multiple characters multiple times. They're just they're resilient, that's for sure. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Yes, you have, actually. <laughs> I would say uh, about eight times you've seen that. <laughs> At least. At the least. All right, so we get to pick up the Cauldron of Jordan right away. I think that's awesome. So whatever. And time to get some stuff here for the uh, Lady Witch Doctor. Get you nice and equipped to start our run through. Alrighty. There she is. Nice hat lady. That is creepy looking. That is so odd. Nice hat lady. Alright. So, Leah, Leah. Let's do this. Witch Doctor, um, you know, the more I play it, the more fun it's been for me. And um, especially, you know, later down the road, I, I think especially once we get to the stage where we're unlocking the later tier abilities, um, I think it's just going to get better and better. In fact, with that said, we'll pick up uh, Plague of Toes right away. But, you know, once you start to get down here, Locust Swarm, Acid Cloud, Wall of Zombies, Soul Harvest, um, all of these stuff looks really, really good. And, you know, this is stuff that we won't have access to during the beta, but that's okay. All right, before we continue here, taking a look. Uh, so we start off with a poison dart, which is 31 man mana, uh, dealing 3 to 5 poison damage and an additional 4 poison damage over 2 seconds. So that's what we are using initially. Now just picked up Plague of Toads for 37 mana, releases a handful of toads, dealing 5 to 7 po poison damage to enemies that they come in contact with. And of course, we have got these zombie dogs for 31 mana, 60 second cooldown. I get these three dogs to fight with me. These three zombie dogs to fight with me. Until they die, basically is how that works. I've yet to have them die before the cooldown finished, so it really hasn't been anything that I've run into. That's That has not been an issue. Not even once, so. So we'll be taking a look at all the spells, doing our full exploration. Voodoo Mama Juju. <laughs> it's funny to see that on screen here. You guys, you guys gotta watch The Office, right? Come on. Who doesn't? It feels amazing. What's this guy doing here? My zombie dogs aren't doing all that much damage, it appears. So that's more damage, you can see right there. 7% uh, damage to the Witch Doctor. I really like that mana regen, though, so I'm going to hold on to that. Because uh, this one gets plus 1 max damage, but having 300 mana regeneration per minute is ridiculous. Um, in addition to the, uh, to the doll thing that I have, too, I believe that's sitting at 480 per minute regeneration. So that's a lot overall. Quite a bit. So yeah, we'll be doing our exploring, and uh, we'll be taking a look at all the skills. Uh, so two things. If you haven't already, take a look at my exploration, uh, my randomization video, is what I meant to say. Because um, I do I do go into uh, some pretty decent depth showing how randomization works in D3. At least in the beta, you know, what we can currently see in the beta. Um, I just take a look at the randomization that's available. So take a look at that. I think that that'll be something that's insightful, especially if you're watching these Let's Plays, and um, you know you can see how the randomization actually unfolds on screen with a full playthrough. Um, so it'll be nice to get you know, a good overlay of the map. The other thing, too, is that I have just started the full-on skill videos. I'm doing one video per class for all the active skills in the beta. I just finished up the Barbarian one. That should be live soon. 
probably before you watch this again. Um, just the way I, I like, I do all my recording basically, and then I do the edit, editing, the rendering, and the publishing later in the day. That's essentially how I work. And um, so yeah, a lot of times like this stuff's recorded after that stuff's already up. Just so you know. Anyways, yeah, take a look at those because I'm gonna be going showing you guys all the skills for all the classes in the beta. So all you know, all active skills. Right. Okay. So let's pay attention here. Let's keep on moving. Walk by that little pumpkin patch there. No randomized dungeon over there, unfortunately, this time. Take out those wretched guys. So the frogs are pretty cool. Um, you know, you have to really get up right on top of a person to make sure that you're hitting, because otherwise they'll just kind of bounce around and you don't really know. You see what I mean? I mean, I was pointed right at him, and <laughs> those frogs really aren't going where I wanted them to. So this works really well if you get right up on top and. Um, I suppose if there's a very large clumped up group of enemies, then it could be okay there as well. You know what I mean? Um, because that way, even if it's not hitting an intended target, it's hitting somebody because there's a huge large group. Uh, so I can see benefits to using it there as well. And in fact, in the last Witch Doctor playthrough, I actually pretty much skipped uh, Plague of Toads altogether once I got Zombie Charger. Um, and I'll show you it here too, just in case you haven't seen that first one, but I'll probably... Uh, not end up using zombie charger as extensively as I did last time because again I want to try to balance these out so you guys can get a, a fair look at all everything that's available here We may also do the level 13 playthroughs with all the skills Let me know though how you feel about that after you see the skill videos I mean if you see the skill videos and you feel like that's enough looking at the skills as it is Then there's really no need for me to do those full playthroughs and you know, with the same content, people are starting to get a little, you know, eh, what is this? You know, I've already seen all this. Why am I watching it again? But, you know, there's a lot of Di Di Diablo fanatics out there who will watch it even though they've already seen it. So, thanks to you guys, and it's because of you that I keep doing what I do. Let's go down here, though, Dank Cellar. The chest is empty. The, the and these the little treasure the hoarders here, Sakura, Sakurath, what did I pick up? I got a blue. But what was it? Got grass for the dead, so we'll get that. Four vitality and six armor as opposed to the 18 gold for monsters. I'll keep the gold. Um, and let's go ahead and grab... I'm actually going to get rid of the dogs right now and grab my grasp of the dead. So, grasp of the dead. Ten mana, eight second cooldown. Hands reach out from the ground, slowing enemy movement by 30% and dealing two physical damage per second for eight seconds. So a little snare there, a little bit of extra damage, not much, but I suppose it's something, right? I'll use that in conjunction with my toes. A little bit of damage. It's not terrible. I mean, it's obviously primarily used for the snare, right? Like, people aren't using Grasp of the Dead as a primary damage ability, but that's not what it's meant to be, so... I mean, I can, you can hit them from quite far away, you see. Wow, durability issues. I have to take care of that when I go back to town. Thanks. Exit. Frickin where's it? I want, like, a click to exit or something. I can no longer deny the truth. Ooh, Kane. Thanks for your journal. Here we go. Right here. That's what I need. Right, these guys. I'm going to have to chase. Oh, my gosh. No, get away from there. Because I can't walk through that without <laughs> leaving this area. There it is, got some gloves. Wow, oh my gosh, really? Oh wait, I guess some stray frogs did get in there. I was going to say, did Grasp of the Dead really kill those guys outright? I suppose it had more to do with the stray frogs that ventured into their vicinity, right? Yeah. I assume so as well. Alright, Voodoo Mama Juju. Let's keep up uh, checking out the old ruins here. The, those sometimes those wells right there you'll get the uh, randomized dungeon the what is it the cave under the well and every single time I went in and it's been jack squat but you never know there could be something amazing in there one of these times there we go I definitely see that having some solid use in PvP the uh because it's you know you can go anywhere watch it clear across the screen you know uh, that's gonna be fantastic for cutting around melee characters i.e. monks and barbarians, that uh, Grasp of the Dead is going to be a good uh, a good method for the Witch Doctor to stay away from them. Amongst other things, but that's certainly one of the tools in the box that could be used. Walk by that stupid bow, because I do not care. 
Back to Nutristrum we go. Let's get some repair action before we keep going through that, though. Repair everything, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I did want to take a look at the gloves. 2% casting speed. Blah. As <laughs> so compared to the 3% casting speed and the 10 crit that I currently have. Certainly not worth it. Ugh. Gotta stretch out a little bit here. Just actually finished recording the Friday's Diablo podcast. So, been sitting non-stop, gonna do this for the next hour. And then we'll keep moving on. What are those things there? Little rats? Sneaking across the screen? Is that what that was? Looks like it. Here we go. Oh wow, I found Adria's hut. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> it's almost like I knew exactly how to get there. Because the map is somewhat linear to start. This is a place mm. of power. This was done on purpose though, says Blizzard. Uh, as basic introduction to the game for newcomers. They want things to be kind of relatively straightforward early on. You see, I gotta be right on top of him to guarantee a hit with that. I was spamming it only like, you know, half a yard in front of him and it still was missing. Here's the key. You really got to be right on top of him to get that. What was lurking within his and I picked up Haunt. Yes, 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 yes. Haunt is great. So we will replace Grass. Let's replace Plague of Toads with Haunt. Haunt, 26 mana. Haunt an enemy with Spirit dealing 15 arcane damage over 4 seconds. If the target dies, the Spirit will automatically haunt another nearby enemy. I can have a total of 3 Haunts active at any given time. So only three, but again, if someone dies that has haunt, they hit a nearby, nearby enemy. So it's, you know, it's not an instant kill, it's a damage over time ability, but still, I mean, you saw that there, that was fairly effective, right? That worked out. That worked out quite well, in fact. I've come to really enjoy using Haunt uh, when playing the higher levels, <laughs> level 13, but the higher levels available in the beta, I've come to really enjoy Haunt. Uh, it's it's very much so a kind of set it and forget it ability. You know, you drop it and you keep running and uh, it'll take care of monsters. Clearly though, you don't want to run too far because you still want to be able to um, pick up loot that drops, right? So, But yeah, it allows you to kind of just kite around and in fact, you know, I'm doing that contest there to see who can get the highest kill streak, and the person who is at the top right now did so by spamming haunt, basically. <laughs> by running from room to room spamming haunt. And I think that once we get closer, it's it's a contest, I made a video for it, uh, it was entitled Beat This. If you just YouTube search Diablo 3 Beat This, or you just look in my inventory videos, you should come across it. Uh, but basically, I, I had a kill streak going, and I said, "All right, if you beat this, uh, the person with the highest score will get a 2012 calendar." And uh, you know, I realized that not everyone's in the beta. <laughs> That's uh, you know, not everyone will be in the beta at any point. But I realized it's fairly limited right now. That's why I gave until BlizzCon. I'm giving more time for more keys to go out. So if you eventually get a key and you want to uh, participate in that for a chance to win a Diablo 3 2012 calendar, why don't you go ahead and do that? Wow, took some hefty damage there from those guys. Holy crap. Keep, keep at a distance, shall we? Use the snare as well. There you go, you see? And I can just cut him back through the snare. Oh, never mind, it dissipates pretty quickly. Oh, well. Oh, this is where I really miss zombie dogs, huh? Holy crap. Takes a lot of damage here from these guys. It's alright, I'm still alive. I'm still ticking. We got it. I might want to replace Grasp of the Dead, though, with my zombie dogs. Because it doesn't seem to be really doing that much for me, so... I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, then. As a result, I got a, uh, a Wanga doll. Let's see if that's a replacement or not. Nope, generate life per second. Again, my mana per second. I don't know, given, <laughs> given recent turn of events, maybe I should get use it, but... But no, I'm gonna stick with, uh... Stick with my MP5! What? Is that a WoW reference? Mm. Shame on you, Force. Shame on you. Cathedral level one, relatively small. Isn't really that big. Um, certainly nowhere near the size of Cathedral level four. 
So you can see the haunt kind of hopping from uh, target to target once whoever it's currently on dies, right? Yeah, you can see that. It's taking place, isn't it? There we go, that guy finally dies. So we'll throw down some more on these. Doesn't seem like this is, you know, again, with, with the damage over time, it increases the length in which enemies die. I mean, as opposed to, say, the Plague of Toads, which was instant explosion damage, you know? They, they got it right away. And, and yeah, so, I mean, you can that's pretty evident by that last fight right there. That was actually kind of took a while. It's probably one of the long, most drawn-out fights that I've had in the beta thus far. There we go. Reduced damage taken. All right, so nothing's gonna be over right there, but I do wanna check down in that little corridor just to see if there's a treasure chest that may be giving me something fancy. Nope, no such thing. Dead villager. Dead villager, four gold, that's it. No such treasure chest for me. Watch these guys here, there we go. So now I can just kinda spam and keep it going. Hopefully they, uh, it dropped a little quicker this time. And then pass on that haunt to their nearby ally. We still got three of my dogs left too. So they haven't died yet. The great thing is they get healed as well when I pick up those health cores. And I think that that's awesome. The minions take effect from that. I mean, I knew for certain that allies were affected when you picked up health globes, but I did not realize the minions had that as well. And that is very good for any, uh, any minion type of class that's played right. right. Yeah, that guy. Split some haunts there, and there we go. I don't know how that how that's justified as my mighty blow, uh, since it's actually the grotesque that ended up exploding and killing everybody. It's nothing that I directly did. This is actually taking quite a while with the haunt. Let's try Plague of Toads again, shall we? We seem to be having much greater success with this. Oh, well, maybe not. Seems like my damage is gimped right now. There's the molten guys. Definitely gotta stay away from those for those explosions. As I walk into it, of course, I say that. All right, let's. Jeez, the randomization there of those frogs. They literally just—they won't hit what you point them at. They do that hopping back and forth, as toads so love to do. They're not hitting my intended targets. It's not. It's not. It's not the level. It's not the uh, ability's fault though. That's just mine for being bad and casting it too far away. Again, if you're gonna be single targeting with this thing, you gotta really be right up on someone's butt for it to be effective. And I know that, so I should be able to adjust accordingly. And if I don't, well, that is my fault. That's my bad. My B. Now level five, all right, almost level six. We'll be able to finally get a third ability, which is feeling drastically needed right now. You know, already in comparison, oh, I can't go up through there yet, I gotta finish my exploring. Um, already in comparison to the other characters uh, with these second Let's Plays, uh, this is feeling a little gimped. I don't know if it's a gear issue or what. I did hand-me-downs, but were they not good enough? Hmm. Pick up glow the globes from further, yeah, it's not. None of those things I necessarily want or need guys taking care of quickly. And back to the grotesque. Come on, dogs. You know you know they got got some guys coming out. We gotta take care of. You're running away, all scared like. A quiver. Those little adventurers, oh no, they died. Like they do every time, right? But back down here, looks like we got some some baddies. This is uh, this type of room, this randomized type of room, this corner piece, I don't see a lot of them. Uh, I've only seen this a few times in all of my playthroughs. And, um, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily bring anything better than other randomized rooms, but I think it looks pretty cool, which I actually saw it more often. Tossed within the randomization that's available. Yeah, it did nothing. Why is a dog barking in the background? What are you doing? Don't you know I'm working? This happened to me in the past. I was equally as angry as I am now. Oh, destructible environments at play. All right, you know what, puppy? 
Don't make me sick my cats on you. They're vicious. They're vicious kitties. Alright, looks like that's it. Let me just check down here real quick. See if there's any, um... Let's see if there's anything down here. And then we'll be heading back. To rescue Deckard Cain. Because he's, uh... He's in trouble again. Nada. All right, back up. And what's the quickest way gonna be? Looks like you're gonna just bank left. And then go up. Ooh, no. That guy was still alive. All right, here we go. Look at all this gold that I missed. Not that it really matters. I tore through my gold. Oh my gosh. I leveled up the artisan as far as it goes. And uh, it was pointless because even after you get to journeyman's gear uh, becoming available pretty quickly, I think it's even at the second level of artisan level up. And uh, you can't even wear anything past that. In fact, half of the journeyman's gear you can't even wear just because of level restrictions. So I kept leveling it just because. I don't know why I should have realized clearly. Well, I did. I, I knew that there. I, I didn't expect there to be lower level requirement gear. Um, but, you know, I guess I just wanted to do it just because. So I'll be showing you guys that stuff. Um, most certainly. My name is yeah, you guys will be taking a look at some of that. Um, but again, I can't even use any of it. So I don't know how much of the higher level gear I will actually craft. I think I will show you guys it. I would prefer to craft gear that's actually within my level restriction. That way, you know, there's a chance of actually getting something really useful. As opposed to spending all these mats crafting, you know, gear that's got a level requirement of 25 that I can never use in the beta and um, having it just go to waste, you know what I mean? So, so yeah. That's basically that, that's what I'm thinking. When we do another when we do another crafting video, I'll show you guys some of the higher end stuff that's available, but um, when I actually go through with crafting to, to kind of display the randomization and stuff, we'll be doing stuff that's actually you know, something I can use. Probably for my Barb as well, since he's my main character. I wanna try to get him some of those higher DPS uh, axes, so. Here we go. Now it is time, of course, as you all know. I, you know, I did hear something about there being additional journal journals as you progress. See if I can see if that's true. See if there's any new journals. There is. Uncle Deckard's home. <laughs> oh, uh, that's annoying though. You'd have to come and constantly recheck in here. It's great for you know the the role play yeah, fantasy stuff. Not the role play. Well, I guess kind of role playing. If you want to be really be immersed in the story, it's great. Let me check Kane's house too. See if he's got another uh, another installment here of his journal. I keep rifling through his books. It's very rude. Come at last. There we go. Look, I keep picking that stuff up. It's XP, so why not, right? Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I'm still thinking about doing another full-on no commentary lore video and obviously people who are just interested in commentary do not want to watch that I suggest avoiding that but I've heard a lot of people want me to talk to everyone in town and listen to the full dialogue and all sorts of stuff and I'm not against necessarily doing that so I could um, that could be something that eventually comes so stay keep an eye out for that stay tuned for that these guys are dead all right. My love, forgive me. You ready, pups? Those things are nasty looking. They don't even have eyeballs. I guess they are zombie dogs, though. So I guess that makes sense. What's the sword of the oracle? Hmm? Nah, uh, no. And you know what? I'll probably uh, I'll probably get rid of some of this stuff since I don't necessarily think I need it. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Oop, I do need that though. Let's go ahead and toss some of this stuff here. Nope. Just doing a quick check here to see. Make sure I'm not getting rid of something I could actually use because that's happened in the past. And it's not a huge deal given that it's a beta. Definitely nothing that I do a release. My gosh. Once the game's out, I will be thoroughly inspecting every piece of gear. But this stuff, I'm not even going to, you know, we're not even going to be keeping this gear. It's all going to be going bye-bye sooner or later. 
Hell, there have been character resets in the beta already during the friends and family phase. God, if we ran into that. All of my work for nothing. It would all be lost. Gone with the wind. No, not the crappy movie. I'm just using a phrase. I'm just using a term, guys. Calm down. Level 6 brings about a new active skill slot as well as a zombie lawn chair. Yeah, that's right. Lawn chair of zombies. All right, so what we will do is I'll, I'll just use this momentarily. And I think instead of Plague of we will pick up... When did I... When the F did I get Hex? I didn't even see that. Jeez, I'm crow. All right, well, let's pick up Hex then. Let's use a zombie lawn chair and Hex. All right, let me look at Hex, first of all, and let's look at Zombie Lawn Chair. All right, I know it says Charger, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, 70 mana calls forth a reckless suicidal zombie that deals 9 to 13 poison damage to all enemies in its way. And then Hex, right over here, 35 mana for 10 seconds is the cooldown. Summon a fetish for 8 seconds that will Hex enemies into chickens. Hexed enemies are unable to perform offensive actions and take 20% additional damage. All right, so... We'll pick up the, there it is. And yeah, he hex people and, and then I kill him. And that's that. I do that every 10 seconds. He is only gone for a total of two seconds at any given time. So as long as he kind of keeps pace with me, which it looks like he's taking his sweet ass time doing now, I should be getting some chickens to do extra damage to. So that's good. Pick him back up, there he is. All right, come help me with the chicken. Chickification. Come help with the chickification of these guys, huh? Over her. So, I mean, I can literally just spam him nonstop, right? Would it be wise? I don't know. How much will it actually do? I don't know. I mean, I really haven't even seen the chicken yet. There it is. There's the chicken. Let's give him uh, some of that 20% extra damage. Actually, we got a little dungeon down there. I'm gonna check over here first, though. Before we go into there. Chicken something, there you go, good job. Does he keep doing it or no, just one time? Nope, there, I saw another chicken. So he does do it more than once, it's good to know. I was a little concerned. Why are you guys going straight for that rotting corpse pile? What good does that even do you? I just want to check over this area first before I go into this that dungeon. The and there's a the fetish. Turn stuff into chickens, fetish. What are you doing? Do something. You can't just stand there like an idiot. If I'm gonna summon you, you better help me. Honestly, oh, whatever. Let's go in that. Uh, let's go in that little, that little randomized dungeon there. What is this? Den of the Fallen. Woohoo! I think I've got this on at least one of the playthroughs. Um, I have got this playing through myself, uh, you know, but not in recordings. I've only got this, I think, once in the recordings. And actually, I don't even know that I fully explored it the last time. So it's obviously a, uh, a throwback to the Den of Evil, you know, so. Bringing us back to our roots here in the Diablo franchise. You can see there the fallen, fallen corpses. Now there aren't any more fallen currently left. It's all these stupid bat dudes. They were here at one point. We got some frozen NPCs here. Chicken, chicken. Oh, nice. He turned the elite too. 